Uh, yes, go on, Papa. No. You see him there? Him is very versatile, you know. Him born in a two country. <laughs> him born in a Trinidad and him born in a Tobago. <laughs> but is a man that anybody, any island, any country would be proud of. Because him have talent and limited. And this evening, uh, him going to unleash some of that talent. So, you're not do it. You're not do it. All right, all right, all right, Oliver, all right. Right, good, good, whatever. No, not sure the time. Um, what has happened is the West Indian people is a strange people. How they get bring up, that is how they get the culture. But because West Indian has never tell you that, you just never know. So as we West Indian here, we must tell you that. And I, as a fellow, is to teach. That is what me are about. So anything you hear me say is how the culture have me. So if you understand, don't let it worry. It mightn't be your culture too, because you might grow up the front. <laughs> No, no, I will explain to you. West Indian people is a people that fast. Now, in Jamaica, they say they fasty. In Tobago, they say they fast. Barbie, they say they fast. Trinidad has also other things and say they macocious. <laughs> All that means is that they like people's business more than their own. <laughs> you know? Now, I'll go tell you what. I have a partner right now in Trinidad. They're in hospital. And I'll go tell you how we get there. It's fasty, fast. We have him there. Here we have him. Me and he going down the road normal. It have a high paling. That we were wall now. So we walking good. And a man jump up and shout out, Nine! Nine! We see nobody, eh? Here he sprang a hat to see. I say, left it. It's not we business. Nine! It's not we business. Le sprang a hat to see. Nine! It's not we left it. Nine! Sprang a hat to see. Nine! Sprang a going and see. Bad big stone to face. I hear ten. <laughs> ten. They're too fast. <laughs> so, is, you see, is the culture? Is the culture here? Yeah? Listen, let me explain something to you. Where we are in the Caribbean, we like all other metropolitan countries, we have a thing called police. Now, we used to call it in Trinidad, the police force. But since we get independent, we want to make them into part of the society, so they are now the protective services. It means the same thing, to protect and serve. Protect you from thieves and thugs and service you with their batons. But, <laughs> you see, the police is a strange thing. No, I just get my little pittance, and I like to bank it. And where I live in, it have the bank day, but it rub three times in the same week. And obliquely opposite have a police station. So they say they don't want no more robbery in the bank. So what they do is, they hook on an alarm in the bank that go direct to the sergeant desk. So when man come to rob, they mash a button, police come across and apprehend. Nice. Well, everything nice. So I say, well, I could bank in that bank because no more robbery. First robbery after the alarm, the cash and everybody laughing. You want money? Take money. You want to open the vault? They open the vault. They give them all the money. They bring out the garbage bag and they give them money because they know police across the road. Girl mash. You want money, give money, but they wait on the police, yeah, well, you want money, give money. And, 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 mon and money go in, and the boys go in, phone ring. Bandit going out the door, tell the fella, hey, answer that day. When he answer that, the police, uh, a police across, they say, hey, all you have, all you put on the alarm, we know it's working, all you playing the fool across there. <laughs> that is the protect and serve way, you know what I tell all you all the things about people, big, but you have to understand how we get so, and we get so West Indian parents. No, West Indian parents is a psychic phenomenon understood by no one else but West Indian children. I'll explain to you. The male of the species in the West Indian society is what they call an absentee landlord. He's never home. <laughs> Therefore, the female of the species take over the whole thing of bringing up the children and bringing up the fathers. The children from small and the fathers for maintenance. You see? <laughs> So they have, they have, the, the ladies have readjusted their tonsils, so it's lighter than the gentlemen own. So sometimes you feel the women and them quarreling, but it's, no, no, they're controlling. <laughs> you, 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 you understand what I'm saying? Because the ladies have to be in charge of the thing. Now, in the West Indies, while they're in charge of the thing, another thing does happen. They just beat plenty. <laughs> so that if you find 
the, the, you see the parents, they, they don't have time to bring up the children, they're too busy. So what it does do is just, while they're raising, it just beat the knowledge into them. <laughs> you understand? So that some people, not non-West Indians, find that they find West Indians too aggressive. It's not that. We parents train we. If somebody don't understand something, beat it into him one time. You, you, you understand? So that we are not really aggressive. We follow in the footsteps of the parents. You, 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 you understand? No. Sundays. A Sunday is a special day in the West Indian society. Everybody home, the absentee landlord, mommy, the picnic, everybody. And Sunday is a day of peace. You just get piece of chicken. You just read, <laughs> you just read piece of the papers. And the children don't give you no peace. It's a day of peace. And strange things happen, especially when the absentee landlord home. I remember a time we sitting down home, place quiet. We reading with peace or whatever. And my mother shout out to my father. Harold! Say, yes, dear. Answer the phone. He said, but there the phone not ringing. And you know the West Indian female. That is what I can't understand. All you just wait till last minute to do everything. <laughs> Suppose two calls come. Yeah. So you, 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 you had to understand me. You know, and then, no. The beating. The, I must explain the beating. Because the beating is the, the most formal form of training for West Indian children. There are categories of beating. And, and it takes on serious psychological proportions. There is a thing called licks inside. <laughs> and licks inside is not licks inside the house, but licks inside is like this. On Monday, your brother do something, your father beat you and your brother. Yeah. On Wednesday, you do something wrong here, beat you because you have licks inside. <laughs> You'll get licks for that already, you understand? <laughs> right. And the next, they have a next thing called... It have a thing called in-case licks. <laughs> or oh, it have two brands of in-case licks. The first brand is, if the neighbor child Tifa Mango, your father's come home and beat you in case, you did plan your Tifa Mango too. <laughs> and then the other kind of in-case licks is that your father going out whole day, wake you up six o'clock and beat you in case you do anything wrong when you're home. You, you, you understand? You gotta understand these things. Now, they also train you to talk the English language West Indianally. And West Indianally, you talk the English language according to phonetics. That is how it's sung, not really what is the word. You understand? At the time my mother carried me in school, she gone by the principal. The principal say, Madam Sprang, your son is illiterate. My mother said, don't be damn past me and your father married before you born. <laughs> this at time one of my uncle dead so we say we go into the wake well you know why is awake awake is a thing that we just celebrate people dead <laughs> we just party 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 and when we're tired we just bury them you know that thing? <laughs> we don't stop the merriment with merriment <laughs> you know, right so my uncle dead so my father tell me well let we go up to the wake well I ain't that but he ain't sure where he living so when we reach the area, he come up to a man. He say, you know George? He say, yes. It have a wake wrong here. He say, yes. He say, where did that man live in? <laughs> and we had a two-story house. And I did my father get vexed out with a sledge and lick down the bottom part of the house. Well, the upstairs, well, that's the next story. All the back one. All the back one. Now, my friends, I would like to inform you of the activities taking place for this month in the bar. There is going to be a dance on the heat. We have a domino match and a cricket match. We also have girl netballs match. <laughs> and look here now. I should also remind you of the excursion because I don't see nobody give me no down payment for the trip. And one year Benji said, him is not going to drive no bus unless him get paid. paid. <laughs> so I am asking him, please, <laughs> to come up with a down payment. Also, I should like to inform him before he embarrass himself. 
if you don't have beach appearance, stay home. <laughs> No member of my staff can go. That's what you think? It's not what me think. It's what me know. Well, you want to who first worry from that bus? Oh. I don't know who going on your bus. <laughs> but you're certainly not going on mine. 